Hi, I'm Erin Henley, professional makeup artist, and today I'm going to show you how to get a Native American inspired look. When we think of that, we just think of, you know, some lines across the face, but there are different colors and there are also different widths. So we're taking two different brushes. They're both, um, you know, pretty compact and they're going to get pretty nice lines for us. So we just have one that's rounded at the end and then one that's pretty straight across and square. And we have a lovely palette here with a bunch of bright colors. I'm going to first go in with a blue color. When I think of Native American, I think of the brighter colors, the primary. That's what I'm going to stick to. I'm just going to do some lines across the face. I'm extending back. It's up to you, the effect you want, if you want it pretty consistent or if you want it faded out, either or works. And then it's good to keep it pretty symmetrical. These creams work well for it, once set with powder. And then let's go in with a red. And we're just going to go underneath. Think of it as face painting. I mean, that's essentially what it is. Face painting with meanings. And you can really just customize it with colors and then textures and different heads of brushes. Got a little bit of white in there, but that's okay. Just balance it out on this side. Might as well do one more color here. So let's go in with the white. has a little bit of blue from the uh, brush, but it's all right. You can definitely mix colors to create a new one. So if you need any pastels, just mix a white with whatever you have going on. And then why not take the end of one of the brushes, say this teal, and just make some dots. You can always utilize your tools as more than what they're advertised for, so you can always use the ends for dots. I'm Erin Henley, and I just showed you how to do tribal makeup-inspired makeup.